This is Bucky Wild, and welcome to One Step Past. Season's greetings to everybody, and in this video, I am going to show you how to make a Supreme Christmas stocking. I've been in charge of my family Christmas stockings for years, and I've been known to make some pretty elaborate stockings. And when I say stocking, it's a loose term. I don't have just one little sock that I fill up with, you know, candy and different treats and everything else. There is a stocking in it, but generally I put that with either a very large bag of treats or a box. You can kind of mix it up to your own personal taste. This is just to give you an idea of how to make a Supreme Christmas stocking. There's nothing that I do in this video that you have to absolutely follow by the letter. You kind of, you know, if there's certain treats that you want in there, if there's a certain presentation, this is just to get give you some ideas, get some juices flowing. Just to make your Christmas stockings a little bit more interesting because it is an occasion and you want people to remember it. You know, it says you don't want it just to be just another day of the year. It says you want to make it make it special. I like to think of a Christmas stocking as sort of a present within itself. Uh, they have their other presents, whether it's, you know, toys or power tools or whatever they have. This is a present of just treats and just fun stuff to eat. But there are some rules and stuff to it. And don't worry, there aren't too many rules. I don't, I'm not going to bog you down with that. Uh, rule number one, don't make it weird. Rule number two, make it interesting. And rule number three, offer plenty. Okay, rule number one, don't make it weird. When I say that, okay, there are some, there are a number of things that I mean by don't make it weird. Uh, the first one is, is no healthy stuff. This is not the time of year that you should really be concerned with, you know, eating diet something or sugar-free something or gluten-free something. Uh, none of that kind of stuff. You have the rest of the year to worry about that. Make sure this is all good stuff that they're going to want to eat. Um, also, don't do anything gross or anything dirty or anything rude or anything anything that's inappropriate. You know, it's Christmas time. Keep it clean. You know, it says we're all adults and everything else, but seriously, it says you don't need to have that kind of stuff at Christmas time. So just just make it very uh, G-rated. <laughs> Whatever you put in there. No candies that look like certain body parts or anything like that. And then also, the most important thing is make sure it's something that they can eat. Uh, if they can't eat peanuts, don't put peanuts in there. Uh, substitute it for something else. Uh, if they have a cheese allergy, you know, if they're lactose intolerant, don't put anything like that. If they have an allergy, something like that, don't put that stuff in there. Make sure that they can eat the food that you're putting in there. Okay. Number two, make it interesting. Uh, variety is the spice of life. Have a variety of different things. If it's all candy in the stocking, it's very boring. I've always liked to mix it up by putting in a variety of different things in there. Like not just candy, but chips, crackers, snack cakes. There are so many different things that you can put in there. Meats, cheeses. Uh, and like I say, it's to your own personal tastes or whatever, but make it, make it a mixture of everything. And also, mix in some old favorites with something that's a little bit new. I always kind of like to pick a little bit here and there of something that may be a newer product, uh, maybe something that they have just never had before. Uh, something that's a little unique but something that still you know that you're pretty sure that the person receiving the stocking is going to like like I said don't make it weird just make it interesting and three offer plenty uh, when I say plenty I mean make it a lot when I make these stockings I usually make it with the intention that maybe the food in there will last a couple months you know it's not just gonna last through New Year's you know it says you want to have it last a while so you know make it like more than one candy bar or more than one box of crackers just make it plenty candy bars always a good decision for Christmas stockings I do have some regular Hershey candy bars and some regular Kit Kats and I'm gonna be putting into the stockings I didn't really want to show those because everybody knows what a Hershey and Kit Kat looks like. Um, the ones that I really wanted to point out were the seasonal sort of candies like the Crispy Santas. 
that Palmer makes. Uh, the regular milk chocolate Santa candy bars that Palmer makes. Uh, I have these. A lot of times, if you want to kind of spice it up a little bit, it's Hershey's, but it's the red, white, and blue colored cookies and cream bars. Those are ones that they actually made for the 4th of July. And I kept them over. That's another thing, too. When it comes to stocking stuffers, don't feel like you just have to buy just right at Christmas time. You can buy things a few months earlier and just kind of space it out. And then when it does come time to make your stockings, you will be amazed at how many different items that you have to play with and make interesting combinations with. And another thing that I like to do is I kind of like to get the candy bars that are not mainstream, but that you know are tasty just for my own personal experience. Dollar General makes some very good candy bars. And they're great for stockings, too, just to kind of put in there. And plus, the proceeds from the sales of those candy bars actually goes towards the Literacy Foundation. Chocolates are just a natural for Christmas stockings. You don't have to get the expensive branded chocolates. I actually did this year for my stockings because I just really like them. The Lind Lindor Milk Chocolate Truffles, oh, so good. The Ghirardelli Squares. But you can get uh, any of the more off-brand ones, store brand chocolates, anything along this order, anything to your own taste. But this is just what I like for our stockings. Cookies are important to my stockings. You can pick any kind of cookies that you like, really. If you like chocolate chip cookies, you won't see any chocolate chip cookies here in this assortment. I tend to stick with things that are not really all that common. You know, that you don't commonly eat throughout the year. Uh, chocolate chip cookies you can get anywhere at any time. But I like to keep these things just a little bit more specialized and interesting. Uh, for instance, Walkers, they make these little shortbread cookies. They come in different kind of tins. I actually got a different tin uh, for myself and my two other family members. I usually like to keep everything the same in the stockings, like I say. But you can make little slight differences. And it kind of adds to the fun. Now, I don't know if anyone else does snack cakes in their Christmas stockings, but I do. And one type of Christmas snack cake that I always liked were the Little Debbie brands. These little Christmas tree looking things with the little sprinkles on them. And oh, they're oh, so tasty. And I, like I said, because it is Christmas, I do like to get some different kind of things that maybe I've never seen before. This year it was the Pillsbury Birthday Cake Bars. I have never seen those before. I didn't know that they existed. But just something a little extra fun because any any time that you're doing Christmas stockings, you don't want to get the same old stuff that you get the rest of the year. You want to get something that's a little bit different, kind of experimental, just for fun. And then, of course, Strawberry Bars, which along the order of the Fig Newton Bars... Chips is another thing that I like to include in my stockings. And you can get the big bags of chips if you want. If somebody just likes, you know, plain potato chips, just get them a big bag of plain potato chips. But my family kind of likes a little mix of everything. So I get one of these little mixed bags of chips. So they get just a little bit of a lot of different kinds of varieties. And, of course, we all like the puffy Cheetos. So everybody gets a big bag of puffy Cheetos. Snack crackers are always a key component in my stockings. I like to get the cheese and cracker packs. This year there just wasn't anything along the order that really interested me that much. Nothing that really stood out or I just didn't really feel like doing it. A close comparison, if you can't get the cheese and cracker packs, the Ritz Bits with cheese, that's always a good idea. Uh, cheese nips or even the off-brand kind of cheese nips, which sometimes are pretty good like these. They always make a great addition to any stocking. Meat sticks are always a main staple of my Christmas stockings. Uh, and you can get any brand that you want. Uh, the last few years I've been getting the Slim Jims, but the extra thick giant Slim Jims. But any, any sort of meat stick will do. Usually a great place if you want to get something, the more interesting varieties of meat sticks that you can't find just everywhere, just stop at different gas stations. Actually, you'd be surprised the variety of meat sticks that are out there. And they're also just fun to kind of stick in stockings. And cheeses, because it wouldn't make sense to have meat in your stockings if you didn't have cheeses. And usually the kind that everybody likes is cheddar cheese. 
and I have that in there. Or you can have American cheese or mozzarella cheese, whichever cheese that you like. But I always kind of like to put in at least one sort of offbeat cheese. This year's variety was garlic and chive, cheddar cheese curd. But like I said, this is all to your own personal tastes. And maybe you don't even like cheese at all. Maybe you don't like meats or cheeses. You don't have to have any of this stuff in your stockings if you don't want. But this is just to give you an idea. But if you are going to put cheeses in your stockings, have at least one type of cheese that you know for sure that the person likes. And then maybe put in something that's a little bit experimental on the side. Now, I don't typically put cotton candy in my stockings every year for Christmas. Uh, but this year I did. It's just one of those things, and also it's Christmas-themed. So try to get a good little mix of Christmas-themed candy in there just to get, you know, just to keep it festive because it is a special occasion. Now, this is the payoff right here. This is why you go through all the work because right here, this is a stocking that is one. This is a supreme Christmas stocking. And for this year, once again, I chose a bag. You can put it in a box. You can arrange it anywhere you like, but... It's a very big bag full of lots of treats and goodies and things to eat. And it will last a while. And as you can see, I do have one actual stocking here. <laughs> but my stocking is not a stocking of the traditional sense. So that's it for this video. Um, like I said, you can do this any way you like. These are just some of the ideas that I had that I put together, and I like to change them from year to year. I don't always do the same thing over and over with my stockings. Uh, you can do this any way you like. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe. I will have lots of interesting videos like this.